Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking about tips for summer. So even if you're in Arizona where it's 121 stinking degrees, you still got a plan for summer. So either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, I'm really, really happy you're here. I hope you have a look around. If you're new, this podcast is everywhere you can find podcasts, so binge away, my friend. Also, don't uh, turn it on to uh, slow motion speed like someone didn't think I'm drunk. I'm not drunk, I swear. Uh, But go ahead, check it out. We have 200 plus episodes, uh, all 30 minutes long, and they come out every single week, and we've been doing this for years. So if you want content, there you go. If you just feel like you want something to listen to while you work, even if you've listened to them all, go back. Not all of them suck. (laughs) So go back and listen uh, while you work. Get yourself something to do at least, and uh, hopefully you dig it. But if you are one of the cool kids, if you're somebody who watches every episode, and of course you order your supplies through me, because, you know, shameless plugs are what I do, well, thank you. It's because of you that I get to have the luxurious life that I do. Uh, not really. But thank you, thank you, thank you. It is really because of you uh, that I even get to exist. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, this is how I make my money. So thank you for ordering from me. By the way, if you want to order from me, that would be most radical. Uh, all you need to do is give me a call or even better, shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone, and just be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Or tell me what you want, and I want to put your order in. It does not cost you one penny more. Actually, in most cases, um, uh, it may be quicker to go through me. Shameless plug over uh, for the one thing, but make sure to do that. And then you can also get an awesome sticker uh, on the sticker wall. It's behind me over there. It's so hard to do that backwards. But anyway, check that out. Also, if you haven't and you want to be even more amazing, have you checked out American Window Cleaner Magazine? Yes! It is an absolute awesome beast of a magazine where there's articles and pictures and it's all window cleaning all the time. Super duper awesome. Uh, Go and get that. It's awcmag.com. And I know some of you have not gotten your subscription yet. If you have not gotten your subscription yet and you do everything else, why haven't you gotten your subscription? Go get that. Uh, By the way, that's where all these nice stickers come from, uh, are the uh, magazines. They come with a sticker sheet of window cleaning stickers every single month. Mailed to your door. Go get a subscription, please. Uh, Anyway, okay. So with all that being said, we are talking about tips for summer, and I know some of you are in like a crazy hot summer already, which is nuts to me that some of you are like 120 degrees. Like, I guess it's Arizona. All winter, you guys brag, right? (laughs) In the nicer areas, all winter, uh, you brag about how awesome your temperatures are, so no one feels bad for you when it's hot, right? Um, But anyway, summer is one of those things that it slows down. And when you're new, you're like, oh, man, summer, I'm not looking forward to that slowdown. But for everyone else, it's kind of nice because that slowdown allows you to kind of catch up on a lot of stuff. And... Uh, It lets you recoup. Now, when you're so busy in spring, if you just did spring all year long, you would burn yourself out and you would hate life and you would, uh, uh, yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't end well. So don't let yourself burn out. That's where this all comes into. It's a nice time to kind of just relax, not be crazy for just a second. Let the phones just stop ringing or at least slow down. It lets you kind of recoup. And that's what we're talking about. What kind of things can you do in summer to make summer just that much better? And there's a lot. I'm telling you, summer and even winter, I kind of really look forward to. Summer more than winter. But it's just that time where all of a sudden like you're going gangbusters and working more than you can. You can't catch up and you're running, oh my gosh, and then all of a sudden it like kind of slows down. And people are like, oh, 4th of July, summer's here, and it just slows down. Now, it doesn't stop, don't get me wrong, but it slows down. And being just slowing, slowing down is just absolutely... Uh, awesome in general so allowing yourself to slow down it's it's absolutely epic so definitely definitely do that but there's a couple things to do in summer to take full advantage of how awesome summer can actually be one of those things is planning commercial now this is not a thing you do right this second 
It can be if you land it. But if you're not doing commercial projects, by the way, commercial projects are window cleaning projects that get done uh, less frequently than once a month, right? So quarterly, six months, annual, that type of thing. Big, nice commercial projects, I plan all of them for like the first beginning to end of July. Depending on where I think the season's going to end, I will plan them all for that. Because even if you're busy, 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 busy through like the second week of July, and, sl- and then you're kind of slowed down, throw these big projects who do not care when they get done. They just need to be done twice a year, right? Throw them in that slow time, and now all of a sudden you have big ticket items that are floating you through the slow time. You're not chasing customers. You're allowing yourself to fill that space. And even better, you're not taking these giant projects and trying to fit them in when you have a thousand calls a day and people trying to get their stuff done yesterday. Fill in the slow times with commercial. If you're not doing that already, make sure to do that. One other quick tip on that kind of uh, commercial stuff is even if you're doing a quarterly building, still plan it in summer. Just plan it around that because the summer slowdown happens about six months away from the uh, winter slowdown, right? And then you fill in the other two spots, which are happy to be busy times. You can fill them in and you're still packing those in. I love the times that we'll do, you know, two weeks solid of just big projects. And it's just a bunch of these buildings we're catching up on. We're trying to get them done because we know the houses are coming. If you plan them in, you can plan houses around them. So really good tip. If you're not doing that, make sure to kind of do that. Um, another big thing is in that same realm is houses. Um, I know that most customers want it done right away. They want it spring and fall. That's why we're so busy. But in spring and fall, I also tell people, Hey, cause if somebody's hemming and hawing, right? If somebody just like, Oh, just do it. You know, yes, it works perfectly. Awesome. But if somebody's like, Oh man, I'm not sure, uh, on the price, I'm going to get a couple other quotes. I'm going to either way. I always will let them know, say, hey, just so you know, right now is our busy time, so you're paying a premium. Um, The schedule is full. It's very hard to get you in because everybody else is trying to get in. But if I do your job in, again, second week, third week, whatever your schedule allows, July, early August, that type of thing, I can actually knock $50 off your job for you because it's slower for us and we can fit it in without being panicked. If you can wait. And I'm telling you, that stops right there when people are hemming and hawing every time. Because it does that, it fills those spots up. It's better for you. You're filling up the slow times, like I said, like you're planning and getting those gaps filled in with the commercial. And I'm completely okay with having somebody, instead of losing them, knocking a little bit of money off to fill the slow times. Again, not something you can do today. You could start doing today. But planning that all year round is really, really amazing. It really just changes the dynamic and the collection of new jobs by doing that. It's always an option, and I don't give it to everybody. If somebody just calls and says, hey, I need it done, I don't care what it costs, just get me in as soon as possible, I'm gonna fill them in as soon as possible, right? But if somebody's like, oh, I'm just calling around, and you tell them, they're like, well, I'm gonna get a few other bids, let them know. Say, if I can put it in the schedule now, I can actually take 50 bucks off if we can wait. It's really kind of nice to push people ahead if you can. Now, on the other, on the other side, if you're newer, um, you probably are looking at a lot of these people talking on the internet and saying, okay, well, I'm booked out through September. I'm this and I'm that and everything else. The big thing is, is that you don't need to necessarily worry about that until later. If you're booked out, and I know, I'm sorry, send your angry emails it's fine. But if you're booked out more than like two months, you're not hiring enough people. And even two months, man, I like to be four weeks out. I would touch five weeks because I could tell somebody you're going to have to wait four weeks, right? The less time even from there, I would. The big thing is, is that if you are booked so far out, you're losing work first off. And I know you're going, well, I'm so busy. It doesn't matter. Mm, kind of, that's not how you grow on the monster scale that we want to, right? But what it's doing is it's creating somebody who is absolutely interested that you're going to be doing EDDM and flyers and mailers and everything else to try to get. You're getting that person who's very interested in your target market to find somebody else. 
Like, so you're going to advertise other times of the year to try to get these people back, but it's too late. They've already found somebody, right? They want it now. They want it now. So hiring ends up changing that. By the way, if you're, you're out too far, if you're out, put it in the comments. On YouTube, if you're on YouTube right now, by the way, give the thumbs up in the video. But go down and just comment how far out you're booked. I want to know from all of you. If you're watching on YouTube or even listening, go to YouTube, find the video, and comment how far out you are. I want to know because I know people who are out, gosh, they're already feeling almost their fall through into uh, end of November. And I get that. And it's cool, but if you hired a new crew, you would cut that down. You're adding another 40 hours of work every single week. If you added uh, a crew of people, two people, instead of just one, I think I said crew. If you add one person adds 40 hours of work, two people, 80 hours, obviously. Now, all of a sudden, you're cutting that back. Cutting that back, hiring sucks. I know, I know. But having that kind of shrink down is going to make you more money. It's going to get you more people happy. And uh, more importantly, it's going to help you kind of grow by doing that. I'm telling you. Um basically plan get that uh, commercial in houses that hem and haw in fill that space that's what you're supposed to do all year round for this time to kind of get to that and by the way on a side note you can't advertise when it's slow don't advertise when it's slow people always like oh my gosh february comes around they're like oh it's so slow i gotta advertise don't nobody wants it it's like selling cheeseburgers at 6 a.m nobody wants maybe some people do everybody every time i say that somebody's like i don't want a cheeseburger i know most people don't want a cheeseburger at six in the morning. So that's not the time to advertise buying cheeseburgers, right? Same thing with window cleaning. You got to advertise when it's hot. Spring and fall, fill it up. Right? Right. Another big thing that you can do is in the slow time, sell route. I love selling route in the summertime and in the winter time. Those are the best time. Winter, still by far the best time to sell route. Why? Because your windows always look like crap and people don't show up. Summer, people are on vacation. People are uh, at the lake, right? If you're competing against some other window cleaners, maybe they're not as professional as you and they're like, yeah, it's a really nice day out today. We're going to go. We're going to go up to the mountains if you have mountains. That's what I would do. <laughs> um, but uh, by the way, to another kind of uh, little side note, it's awesome that people always uh, send me stuff so on friday i go out to the mountains for the weekend i don't have service in the weekends right but no orders go in it doesn't matter if it's placed after five after four technically on friday all the way through till monday at four they all go out the same day so we don't put orders in i personally don't even though you can call text me whatever but people always be like oh you're up in the mountains have fun this weekend text me on monday you people are awesome you are absolutely awesome um, thank you, by the way, for the patience. But anyway, sell some route. If you're not doing route, it's a great time to do it because people, like I said, aren't really showing up. But the more important thing is you got time. There's a lot of things that do have to get done, but what if you opened up a day every week and started selling some route? Now, the nice thing is, is you're building the route in the slow time for the rest of the year. You're double decking that route in December when you go to sell some more, Right? The timing it takes to sell route is extensive. You have to go door to door. You can't send a postcard. You can't hang a flyer or clip flyers. By the way, clip flyers, I'm not a fan. Man, it's littering. I don't. I just can't get on it on board. But anyway, um, you can't do any of that stuff with commercial. You can't do it with route. Those two, you have to do it a separate way. And that is door knocking and route. Now, the nice thing is most routes all kind of packed up. If you go to a route job that is not in a strip mall or a bunch of, it's a standalone location, I'm telling you it is more likely you will get that than any other one. And the reason is, is because they're not getting hounded like everything else. Like if you have a downtown area or an uptown, if you're in Charlotte, if you have any of that, there's so many buildings next to it that somebody who wants some beer money is going to go into every one of them. I'll clean your windows, five bucks. I'll clean your windows. I'll clean your windows. Can you have a window clean? Can I? They're getting bombarded all the time because people go to those areas because they want that concentrated route. But if you have standalones or something maybe a little bit out there, they're going to be happy to see you because nobody else comes in there. Maybe they still have somebody, but it's going to be really nice for you to kind of advertise that. So 
Keep that in mind. But selling route in this time of year is really, really valuable. We have nothing but time right now, especially if things just slow down. Why not do it to create business? You can't necessarily advertise for houses, but the nice thing with route is there is no season. They get done all the time and need it all the time. It doesn't matter all the time. Rain, shine, snow, sleet, salt, does not matter. They have to get it done. If it doesn't rain for a long time, they get dust. If it does rain a lot, well, then the windows always look bad. If you're in the middle of winter, there's salt and splashing and snow on there. If it's spring, well, they want to get all that stuff off there, keep them nice because now everything's looking nice and people are coming out. I mean, route is really, really awesome. I know there's a lot of haters out there for route, but I really dig route. As you know, if you've listened or watched, I like route. But now's the time to sell it. So go sell some route. And uh, again, you're planning that on a weekly schedule, not a uh, monthly schedule. So every X amount of weeks. So definitely do that. The other main reason that I love uh, summer and winter is, other than the downtime and just the breathing room, is maintenance. Maintenance is huge with me. I really, really, really like maintenance. I like to make sure that everything I have works without me having to find out the hard way it doesn't i know i know everybody's like well i do too are you behind on your oil changes you know uh how's your gear look is anything cracked broken chipped how much rubber do you like maintenance and everything is absolutely important during the spring it is so hard to fix a truck it is i can't pull a truck off and most people by the way we had a mobile mechanic the guy that would come to you with his big truck, that was the best thing we ever did. That I don't have to get trucks out of the field. He just comes when it's right. But on the other side of that is it's a little bit more expensive. But I can't pull a truck out. Oh, the guy's backed into a pole or somebody hit him or something scratched or something's this or the vinyl on this side is not looking real good. I can't pull a truck for a day when it's busy every single day, but I can in summer. Oil changes all get done every single time because I have it available. If they need them or not, it gets done, right? New logos, letters, vehicle wraps, I get all that done. Anything that's coming up with issues, I get it done. Knocks, nicks, brakes, all that fun stuff, I get done in that time because I got it. I got it now. Do it when you can so that fall comes, you're not worried about, oh, man, I got to change the brakes. Oh, man, I got to get it in for an appointment for a fill in the blank. Oh, man, I got to get new tires. Oh, man, I got to fix my ladders. Or change my racks or build more reels. Or... Maintenance is a summer and winter thing. You have time. Why not spend it on fixing it and making you more efficient the rest of the year? Right? Super, super valuable. Now, shameless plug kind of. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm a salesman, I know. But one of the big, big things that I like to do, especially in summer and winter, but in summer is get new equipment. Now, pre-spring, like March, is really, really busy. Everybody's like, oh, man, it's coming. I got to buy everything, get everything ready. Then you go through spring, and now all of a sudden there's tumbleweeds going through your uh, your stocks, and you got a couple rubbers that are, you know, falling on the floor, and it just looks, because you go through like a whirlwind. I don't have time for this. I gotta... If you did it that way, awesome. You prepared for spring, and you got it done. But now it's time to do your restocks. Now, Of course, I say that I'm a salesman. By the way, if you want me to put your order in 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. But that's not really why I'm saying it. Why I'm saying it is because for me, that's always my big stock. I always had my biggest purchases in summer because I got spring money and going into winter. I got fall money and I have to prepare it for spring coming up. You don't want to necessarily buy after you waited the whole time getting into fall because once you get busy, you're busy. Once you're in it, you're in it, right? So the big thing is, is that you have to kind of plan it to get it when you can. Remember, everything we do is like squirrels, right? What a dumb analogy. <laughs> but we're, we're like squirrels. We got to get it while we can for the times that we don't. And that's absolutely, you know, true. So planning the uh, summer kind of slowdown for equipment, maintenance, all that stuff is probably number one. This isn't a list, but that's probably number one for me. That's most what I look forward to. The big thing is too, is because we're spring rich, I will always buy my big equipment. So 
if I get through spring and I'm like, man, I need a new pole. I need a new water fed. I just, I got to add another one or I got to, if you didn't need it instantly, you probably didn't buy it right away. Now's the time to get it. And it reflects, you know, in how busy we are. People you can tell through that summer is just that stays flat of people that are still trying to get things in before fall. So definitely look at that. Maintenance is key um, and equipment is another key. Uh, Another big thing that I always say, and it's really, really hard. This is the number one complaint. The number one crappy thing about window cleaning is the hiring. You have time now to hire. Hire, train, do all the stuff so that when fall comes, you got somebody that's halfway worth worth a darn, right? Now is the time to train, but you got to hire. And the process takes time. If you've been ABH, always be hiring. If you've been doing that, then you got a, a list of candidates. Like, why not start calling them saying, hey, man, we're looking. We need somebody in. If you got to get somebody in hired for fall, do it now. Don't wait until fall. I know there's a catch-22 with hiring. You have to be busy to hire, but you also need to hire when you're busy, right? So then you can't. So the problem is, is like, well, do I hire somebody before I need them or do I hire them after I already need them? And the thing is, is that you always should hire somebody before you need them. Always. I would rather have somebody say, hey, man, we're building this up. I'm going to only have about 20 hours for you right now, but we want to get you in. I would rather have that and build them up, give them extra stuff to do, get them in the cruise. It incentivizes you to sell more. It helps you realize you got to get out there, hustle, get some route, get that commercial plan, throw them on the job, right? Let them learn. If you do it after the fact, yeah, you got the work for the guy, but now you got somebody who doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to get burnt out and hate it, everything, and you're not getting production. All he's doing is slowing you down anyway. So hiring now in the summer is absolutely the key. Hiring sucks. I wish that we could sell employees. Oh, that that might, that might not, that might be illegal to, to sell people as employees. But the big thing is, is that if we could offer that somehow, I would, because that's the biggest, biggest, biggest problem is employees, especially now where McDonald's, KFC, I mean, we have probably five fast food restaurants in our town that have sign on bonuses. Like, if you want to work for KFC, I think it was KFC or McDonald's. They're right next to each other. But one of them had, like, a $1,000 sign-on bonus. Wow. Like, they can't get people, right? People want to stay home, whatever you want to say. And by the way, if you want to tell me how wrong I am and it's, well, then you should pay somebody. You're not a business owner. Because we pay people what we need to pay people to get them in the door. If we can't find somebody, we're going to increase the pay to try to match that right? But we also can't increase the pay past our capacity because then it doesn't work. Well, Jeff Bezos, that's, you don't even understand how, how finance works. But for us, it's really, really hard. So we have to get things out. It's the number one problem that we always have. By the way, if you're on YouTube and employees are ridiculously hard for you, tell me how many employees you could hire right now. If you found the perfect candidate, how many employees right now could you hire? Just watch, watch the numbers. People are like, you know, I could hire one right now. I could hire two. I could literally hire three more people right now and it would help my schedule. Look at all the people commenting about that they need employees. By the way, comment. Don't don't sit there and not comment, but comment. Because otherwise this whole spiel is not going to be anything. But look at all the people that are out there hiring. Not everybody's in your area, but that is what our market is against. That's why it's so hard to hire people. The pool is so small. Yes, they're making unemployment. They're making a lot of money to sit on their butt, but that will eventually end. It's very hard to find somebody who wants to work with their hands. It's very hard to find somebody who wants to work outside but actually knows what working outside is. I think one of the funniest things ever is when people are like, oh, I want to work outside. Oh, yeah, how? Well, I've always wanted to work outside. Mm, okay, w- why? Nah, just would be really nice. You know, I'm tired of sitting in the office. You're tired of sitting in the office that doesn't have sun bugs uh, temperatures over 72 degrees, comfy chairs, water coolers, bathrooms on site. Like, do you understand? When you work outside, you're in bushes. You're in the heat, humidity, cold. There's like seven nice days a year. The rest of it, there's one or the other, right? Sun's in your face. Now you're sunburned, dirty. 
smash in your hand. You never sit down all day except for when you're driving to the next one. When you got to go to the bathroom, you don't have a bathroom. You're in bushes, bugs. You know what a mosquito, spider? You know how many spider bites I get a year? Hundreds. In the spring, when they got all the things and you're cleaning a window and those uh, egg sacs open up and they're everywhere, biting you everywhere. Mosquitoes, bugs, wasps. You ever dealt with a wasp? You know that little thing that's on the window in the crook corner of the window that you're never going to notice until you smash it with your mop and then the stupid thing wants to attack you? But that's who we're hiring against. That's who we're trying to find. So it's problematic to wait until you need them. Hire now, I'm telling you. Another big thing that people always want to wait on is printing. If you're doing printing, which you should absolutely be doing printing. Printing is not dead. Well, I guess you shouldn't take that from me because I'm a guy who owns a magazine. Uh, anyway. American Window Company. Anyway. <laughs> Just plugging it. By the way, back issues, $5 right now. Anyway. Printing itself is not dead. So postcards, flyers, any of that stuff, EDDM, that stuff is super, super valuable. But the problem is, is it takes time to print. It takes time to design, print, and have ready. Maybe you're doing EDDM. Remember, EDDM has to be designed, printed, bundled, put into flats, and uh, covered. That takes time. Do that now. Start the process. Start it now and you'll absolutely uh, be in time. If you're not doing EDDM, look it up. It's a government program, EDDM, Every Door Direct Mail. Look it up. It's absolutely phenomenal. It has to be done right. Don't do it wrong. So to do it right, I have EDDM stuff all over the place, but do it right. Um, get it now. Planning because when spring hits, remember when the phones all of a sudden start back up, that's when you mail your EDDM. Everybody's hot and heavy. They want it. Send it out now. If you wait, oh man, we've been getting a lot of calls lately. And then you go to design things and then you go to print things and then you wait for the shipping and then you have to put it all together and everything else doesn't make sense. So plan it all right now and you will absolutely be so much, so much happier. Uh, printing is always kind of the big gamble too, right? We don't know really when it is. So putting it into a marketing calendar is a floating start on it. But I always, always, always. Now, by the way, a little bit about me is I don't own a window cleaning company technically anymore. But when I did, um, I sold that just a few years back. I had what we called her office goddess. And she was the one who did the office stuff. It was absolutely amazing. One of the things that she did was always, always have bundled EDDM. We would just randomly continually ordered EDDM new promos we would get in new EDDM with uh trifolds everything needs to match right so that you can send that message we would do that twice a year we would just get whole big um uh, bundles and we would continually order that image but always having that every single day it was put stuff in bundles of 50 Put the caps on the covers, get the ready sheets ready, all that fun stuff. Get the flats from the post office, make sure they're ready. Because literally, when it happens, the best EDDM campaigns are after it's busy. You get all of a sudden like, man, today was a crazy day. It was just out of nowhere. Everybody was calling. If it's still going to be nice and sunny the rest of the week, I'm going to EDDM tomorrow. I'm going to bring it all out there because it's going to take two days before that gets out. But it's as fast as I possibly can. Get it out there. EDDM is super, super valuable, but it has to be printed and ready. So you have to get your EDDM ready. But more importantly, you got to buckle up. Get ready. Get everything locked down because we're going to do it again and it's called fall. Fall is not quite spring, but uh, fall is really, really good. So get ready for it. I hope you guys uh, all went through uh, everything so far this year. I hope your numbers are absolutely amazing. Thank you to everybody who orders for me. Uh, genuinely thank you. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you even more to people who have ordered American Window Cleaner Magazine. By the way, Sorbo cover. It's great. Thank you for that. Um, I really, really genuinely appreciate it. It is a lot of work for the magazine, uh, but you guys really, really like it, and subscribers have just gone through the roof. So thank you so much. Uh, AWCMAG.com forward slash sub. Get your subscription. Not only is it awesome, but you're supporting the industry and uh, you're submerging yourself in awesomeness. Plus, you could have super cool stickers. Who doesn't like stickers? By the way, if you guys ever watch the video in slow-mo, you'll see a couple stickers in there. 
that um, is uh, everything in there is window cleaning except for uh, that one there and then that one there. Everything else on that uh, board is window cleaning related. There's Cool Kids stickers. There is stickers that have come out. There's Etta Ray stickers. It's kind of cool to, to look. Those are the only two uh, buddies uh, clothing line. But anyway, check it out. You could have those too. So go do it and uh, get ready for uh, fall. Your tips for summer, just do it. Prepare, take a breather, but more importantly, go out there and be epic.